Episode 9 is said to deliver many different twists and turns, as well as surprises in this film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that I'm truly excited to see in this movie is exactly what J.J. Abrams will do for the characters of Kylo Ren and Rey, where we will actually look at the characters in a different way in comparison to both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with the characters of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Rey. Specifically, a description of Rey on a desert world standing in front of a hut. It's described that there are two suns indicating that this is the planet of Tatooine. The next goes over Rey described the hearing the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi reaching out to her. It's said that Obi-Wan is revealing a certain secret of his to Rey, describing that she she is a virgins in the Force, describing that she is a concentration of the Force much like Anakin Skywalker. However, it's described that Obi-Wan knows truths of Rey's identity that she is currently unaware of. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now, a lot of people have been wondering about the character of Rey and whether or not she was born in a similar way to that of Anakin Skywalker. And that's the biggest question of all, right? Now, I think that there is more to the story here between both Obi-Wan and Rey. We do know that they're doing a lot of things for Kenobi in this movie. You know, they have lines of Ewan McGregor coming through. They are also using a lot of CGI in order to recreate the character of Obi-Wan, as well as just using his voice as well. So what's really intriguing to me though is how Obi-Wan Kenobi reaches out to Rey on the planet of Tatooine. And by the way, this does line directly up with what we heard just yesterday about one of the big set pieces for Episode 9 being the Lars Homestead. So the Lars Homestead, we have seen this in past Star Wars films. It's an iconic part of the Skywalker saga that will be making its way back into Episode 9. So I think it's pretty safe to say that the filming location over in Wadi Rum, at least parts of it are indeed for the planet of Tatooine. Now, moving past this, Obi-Wan Kenobi explaining to Rey that she is a virgin in the Force, that she is a concentration of the Force, much like Anakin Skywalker. Now, does that necessarily mean that she was actually born in a similar fashion to exactly how Anakin Skywalker was born in the prequel trilogy era? Not necessarily per se. It could just be that she's a powerful individual that is still a virgin in the Force and has a lot of power surrounding her. Now, when we look at Episode 9, what's really intriguing is that Obi-Wan Kenobi does know more truths to the character of Rey that she is currently unaware of. Now, is this a major hint and or indicator that she is connected to Obi-Wan Kenobi himself? Is it possible that she is the granddaughter of Obi-Wan the Jedi Master in Episode 9? Now, when we look at this movie by J.J., we do know that he has a lot of tricks up his sleeve and that he's going to do something that's really going to have Skywalker, you know, saga-wide implications on the Skywalker saga. And with that being said, you know, this movie really does have a lot going for it when it comes to the twists and turns, as well as the surprises in this movie. So Tatooine most likely being a planet that will appear at the very end of the film in the third act and or the very end of the second act of this movie is most likely probably a step in the right direction by Disney and Lucasfilm because if you really do think about it, if you look at the prequels, Tatooine was a large part, right? Tatooine was a big part of the prequels and so it was in the original trilogy. So now going into episode 9, it seems as though that J.J. Abrams wants to do something very special for that planet in episode 9 in order to really bring all the Star Wars fans together and enjoy this great movie once it drops this December of 2019. Now, you guys may have heard that they do have plans in order to recreate the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi by mixing the two different versions of Obi-Wan of Ewan McGregor and Sir Alec Guinness into one, both young and old, in this movie. And that, to me, I think is a controversial piece for sure because a lot of people would just like to have either, you know, one or the other being the Force Ghost of Obi-Wan Kenobi in Episode 9. Now, like I say, that brings me to this point. Exactly why would Obi-Wan Kenobi know truths of Rey's identity in Episode 9. Now, I think that this all connects to that line of dialogue that we heard in Episode 7, The Force Awakens, in which we do hear Obi-Wan Kenobi talking to Rey, saying, Rey, these are your first steps. 
I think that's one of the biggest mysteries of the Star Wars sequel trilogy is, of course, why was Obi-Wan Kenobi reaching out to Rey? If you really think about it, it is an honest big question that should be answered in Episode 9, as it will be by JJ, and that's a great thing and all. But as of right now, when we are unaware of exactly why JJ inserted that line of dialogue into Episode 9, or should I say Episode 7, that will be answered in Episode 9, why would he really be talking to Rey, right? What's the big deal here? What's the bigger picture between both Obi-Wan Kenobi and Rey? I think that there's definitely some kind of link there between the two. Whether or not they're related is a big question open on the table for discussion. There could be something else entirely involved between these two different characters that could honestly set up something bigger and larger in a Star Wars movie that is going to be very much unexpected because we do know that J.J. Abrams, in the ending of Episode 9, there will be a lot of unexpected elements that will come out of left field for the Star Wars fans around the world. So with that being said guys, what do you think about all of this below in the comments? And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.